Good evening and welcome to the Nippon Professional Baseball League postseason where the Fukuoma SoftBank Hawks are preparing to host the Nippon Ham Fighters in Game 1 of the Pacific League Wild Card Series. Now both these sides stumbled into the postseason but will be looking to take advantage and advance to the championship series against the Chiba Marines. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to episode 15 at the Nippon Ham Fighters on the Baseball Journeyman and a little bit of a change of us or surprise today in that we are beginning our playoff run because uh, we're well, basically we got into the playoffs uh, by mistake almost. I didn't uh, get a chance to record because it just it went from uh, we were one game ahead to three games ahead uh, overnight. Um, so we're going to be playing the uh, first game of the wildcard game against the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks today. Let's go and have a quick look and see how we got to where we are. Um, now, we we haven't been in great form, if I'm completely honest with you. You can see there the way that everything ended up. Uh, in the end, we were third. We were a game ahead of the Golden Eagles, but we were, it was a little bit more comfortable than that. We got uh, we got in with sort of three games to spare. We go and have a quick look at the schedule uh, and how everything finished up here. Now, we left off against Chiba here, wasn't it? Um, and then things started to go a little bit wrong. You can see we lost two in a row there against the Golden Eagles before winning Game 3. Uh, now the star of Game 3, a little bit like the star of last episode, was Yamazaki. He hit two home runs and four RBIs. Uh, so that was magnificent work from Yamazaki. Um, so that was a big win given the, where the, you know how the things ended up against the Golden Eagles. Then we played uh, the uh, this team, the Lions. Um, we won two of three against them, but we were lucky, especially in Game 2. We got out hit 10 to 4, but managed to win the game. So that, um, yeah, was a little bit lucky perhaps. And then game three, we did manage to win. Uh, and it was on the back of uh, Cobra Kai was the star of this one with two hits and four RBIs. So well done, Cobra Kai, on uh, on that one, getting us across the line. Uh, then we played the Golden Eagles. We absolutely smashed them 14 to nothing in the first game. But almost the star of the game, to be honest, was with the ball because uh, y uh, Kikuchi finally did. Look at that record. He was, he's been terrible this year. But he got a shutout, a three-hit, one-walk shutout with ten strikeouts. That is the Kikuchi I think we all thought we were going to get this season. Uh, and then we managed to scrape game two there in extra innings as well. And again, given how the season ended up, that was very important. At this point, I'm thinking we're in some good form. We've just been saving ourselves through the playoffs. Then things started to go a little bit wrong. We lost against Chiba. And we lost this one in the ninth with a walk-off home run. Um, so that was uh, that was painful. Uh, then we lost against Oryx, which was another, another tight game. But given where they were, that was disappointing. We played the Lions, and I thought this would be our saving grace. But we lost game one. We won game two in 12, which was crucial. And then we won game three of that series comfortably. We played the SoftBanks Hawks and lost a tight one. Uh, then we played Oryx and won. Then game one of this series against the SoftBank Hawks. This was another painful loss. It went to, they got three, no, we got three runs, sorry, in the seventh. Momentum was our way. Then in the tenth, they got the winner. Um, we managed to win game two. And this was the one that actually qualified us. We were uh, a game ahead of uh, the Golden Hawks. Then we won, they lost, and suddenly, um, yeah, we were in the playoffs. So that was good. Then we just rested, rested the pitchers for these uh, last two games. So nothing to, too much to panic about on this, the losses. Maybe 12-1's a little bit <laughs> more than we'd ideally like. But uh, yeah, like I said, we were, we were getting at that point ready for the plus. It turned out it was we had such a big gap. We could have... Uh, we could have just played a strong team anyway. Um, now, one piece of injury news to catch you up on is that Kawakami is season over. Separated shoulder, six weeks. Um, that's a big disappointment. He's a very good defensive player. Uh, he's, he's our backup at shortstop as well, which isn't ideal. So hopefully Leon stays fit. A good base runner. Uh, and in the end, he was coming good towards the end of the season. But he has, uh, yeah, he has left us. And in to replace him has come uh, Higuchi, a second baseman. He Thinks he can play shortstop. Uh, he hasn't played with us this season. He did come up briefly last year, about a 270, about a 280 in double A this year. So he's not the worst. Um, but I'd, I'd rather have uh, Kawakami, to be honest. So he's coming to the team. Now, a couple of records uh, that have been broken this regular season. 
And first up, it is uh, it is Hayashi who broke the record for uh, doubles with 51. Now, the league record was 52. He was so close to breaking that league record. Uh, and to go with that, he actually he had the highest batting average. He was the batting champion this year. So, Hayashi, well done, mate. Uh, what a performance that has been from him. Uh, and the other record that we've won was an equaled record for the club. Uh, comes in stolen bases and Panic tied that club record with 47. So again, so close uh, to setting a club record for us there. But uh, ultimately, no cigar. Uh, now let's have a quick look at how everybody did or did for their regular season. Uh, you can see we've altered the bullpen a little bit. Uh, in the st sorry, the starting rotation um, into the bullpen has gone uh, Takashita. Uh, and also we've put into the bullpen uh, Fujinami as options um, options out of the bullpen. We don't need, obviously, a six-man rotation for the playoffs. But this is how everybody did. The disappointment was obviously Kikuchi. Um, he and him and his uh, six point, sorry, 4.64 um, ERA. But otherwise, not too bad. I mean, we didn't expect much from Fujinami. He had a negative ERA, as did Taker Shita. But again, he was just a youngster that came up, so... We'll give him uh, that this season. The other negative ERA was um, was Ishikawa. And again, maybe he is a little bit of a disappointment, actually. But he's come back from an injury and he's lost his movement. So, um, yeah, I think we might need to just bear that in mind. He did have an injury uh, interrupted season. But otherwise, it's gone quite well. Um, so that's the, that's the pitching side of things. The hitting side of things, we can see everybody there. Um, again... If there is a disappointment, it's always Kondo, but he did finish the season strongly, uh, which is which is promising. Hopefully, he'll uh, he'll stand up big. Now we need him in the in the postseason. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm relatively happy with how we've added this season. Uh, all right, so that brings us to uh, the lineups for today's game. Let's go have a look at them. And this is it, and these matchups don't look like they're going our way, but hopefully we'll overcome that. It's Sato leading us off in center field. A bit of a rejig at the top of the order. Hayashi's going to bat second at third base. Panic's going to drop down one. He's going to bat third in left field. Kiyomiya, the, third, uh, the first baseman, bats clean up. Yamazuki in right field bats five. It's Hector Leon, the shortstop, batting six. Kondo is going to be designated hitter for this one. He has finished the season strongly. So we're giving him a start as a designated hitter. Hosokawa, the second baseman, bats eight. I'm a little bit concerned about him this season. Cobra Kai, the catcher, he bats uh, nine. He has not had a good uh, time of things against this pitcher or against the SoftBank uh, Hawks, but we'll keep faith with him. And it's going to be Arihara getting the start for us. He has been our star man all season. 12 wins, 5 losses, ERA of 2.11, a whip of under one, uh, which is which is good. He's gone 2-2 two and two against the Hawks this season. We're up against Senga. He has uh, an, an ERA of 4. Point, we'll have a look at him here, regular season, 4.24. He has a whip of 120, uh, an ERA plus of 93, a war of 1.7. He's been a really good pitcher, but he hasn't had his best uh, best season by his standards. But uh, yeah, let's hope we uh, we can get the better of him here. It is a three-game series, so you do not want to fall behind. It's going to be Sato leading us off. Oh, we're straight into it. Two and two's the count, and Sato grounds at the first base. And that is one away. Uh, now, did I mention Hayashi was the batting champion? I think I did. Anyway, he was the batting champion this year, and here he is up to bat. First pitch swing from him. And Hayashi, he's hit it. No, he's popped it up. And it's going to be caught out there in left center field, and it's the left fielder that makes the grab, and that is two away for Panic now, who uh, I'm hoping we're dropping him down the order. Just one. He has a little bit more of uh, power about him, and he's hit that well into uh, right field. It's going to be a two-out single for Panic. Now, we know we just set the club record for stolen bases, but with Kiyomiya at the plate, do you actually want to just see if he can hit a home run for you? Owen wants the count. There goes Panic. Is he going to get there? He is. Oh, and they've thrown it away, and he's got himself to third as well. Excellent, excellent stuff. They thought they could get him, and they couldn't. They were very much mistaken. And can Kiyomiya now give us a lead? Three and one's the count. Kiyomiya swings the bat, but he pops it up. And in center field, it is caught out there. And that'll end the first for us. Oh, a little bit uh, disappointing, perhaps. And it's going to be Arihara now with uh, Taniguchi to the plate. 0-2 oh, is the count on him. Arihara was one of the dominant pitchers in the league this season. Let's hope he can take that form into the postseason. That's a little comebacker, as I think that's the term of it. Anyway, it is, uh, it is first out because he's thrown out at first. Sakai comes in to bat for them now. 
Let's see what we can do with him. One and O is the count. And that is up the middle, popped up. No, it's not up the middle. It's uh, like a slicing uh, fly ball out there to first base, which is kind of like the middle. Kiyomiya makes the catch. Two away. Yenga Gita comes in. Three and one's the count on him with two out. And what can we do with this? He has hit it well. It is not going to be caught out there by Yamazaki. And they have got themselves a two out double. Now let's hope that that doesn't cost us anything. In comes Yamada for them. Two and two's the count. Two on, two on, uh, two, uh, two out. Runner at second, and we get the strikeout. Arihara, wonderful stuff, and we're through one. And it's Yamazaki coming into bat now. About a 2:37 in the regular season, but uh, we know that he he finished strongly. 0 and two, and he strikes out to get his postseason underway. Hector Leon comes in now. He batted 236 in the regular season. One and two is the count on Hector Leon. And he watches strike three go past. And it brings up Kondo, who batted uh, 226 in the regular season, but did finish the season strongly. 0 and 2 is the count on him. And Kondo strikes out as well. And, well, that wasn't a great batting performance, was it? It brings up Yamakawa now. He batted uh, 208 in the regular season. 0 and 1 is the count. He has a lot of power, but not much else about him. And that has been popped up. Kiyomiya goes back and makes the play in shallow right field. It brings up uh, Yubayashi coming up now. He's 285 in the regular season. 2 and 2 is the count. And that's popped up this time into left field where uh, Panic is waiting. And, well, there's no panic there. He makes a simple catch. And it's Ando up now who's batting or batted 203 in the regular season. One and two's the count. Finish him off, Arihara. There it is. All right, we're through two. Still tied at zeros. One hit apiece. And it's Hosekawa who batted uh, 280. No, he didn't. He batted 241 in the, po in the regular season. First pitch swing. He started the season well and faded away badly to the point where Kamakawi came in to replace him. And that's a simple catch in center field for Cobra Kai now, who batted 272 this regular season. A first pitch swing from Cobra. He has got it into right field. It's a one out single for the catcher. And Sato will come to the plate now. And he is, of course, 0 for 1 today. Can he get himself on base here? There goes Cobra Kai, and he's not going to get anywhere close to it. And I'm not quite sure why the catch is stealing, to be honest. Sato now with two out. No one on. A full count. What can he do? What can he do? He draws the walk. All right, now Sato is more likely to steal a base for us. Hayashi's at the plate. He's 0 for 1. 2 and 2's the count. Hayashi pops her up. And that'll end the top of the third. Really not sure what Cobra Kai was doing trying to steal a base there. A little bit of a rush of blood to the head, I think. And it's Kobayashi coming up to lead them off, batting one, or batted 193 in the regular season. One and O's the count. That's a ground ball past Hayashi at third. And it will be a leadoff double for the Hawks, and that's not ideal. That first run of the game is in scoring position. And it's Koda to the plate, who batted 238 this regular season. One and two's the count. A strikeout would be nice. And that's what we get. Nicely done, Arihara. Love your work. It's Taniguchi now coming back up. He's 0 for 1 today. 3 and 1's the count. Oh, it's popped up. I sounded like it might have been a little bit better than that off the bat. But Sato goes back near the track. And it can't stop the runner getting to third. But with two away, we just need to make sure we're getting this batter, who is Sakai, who is 0 for 1. It's a full count. Two out. Runner at third. And we get the strikeout. Arihara comes up big. And we're through three now, still tied at zero in game one of this wild card series. Panic up to bat. He's one for one today. One and one's the count. Panic has been wonderful for us this season. On this occasion, he strikes out though, and it's Kiyomiya to the plate who's 0 for one. One and 0 is the count. Kiyomiya, has he given us a lead? Has he given us a lead? That ball is out of here, and it is 1-0 to the hand fighters, 375 feet. Kiyomiya does it again, and it's 1-0 in the top of the fourth. Excellent, excellent stuff by Kiyomiya. Yamazaki comes in now. He's 0-for-1 today. 2-2's two and two's the count. He couldn't do it back-to-back -back for us, could he? No, he swings at ball three there, and that is the end of, uh, end of Yamazaki. 
Hector Leon comes up now 0 for 1 today. 2 and 1's the count. Leon gets it into left field. That's going to be a two out single for the shortstop. And let's see if we can get a bit of a rally going here as Kondo comes in who's 0 for 1 today. It's a full count. Two out. And he draws the walk to get two on with two out now. It's Hosokawa to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today. Two and one's the count. Hosokawa has popped it up. And that'll do it for the fourth. But not before Kiyomiya gives us the lead. All right, Arihara. Let's see if we can protect this now. He comes out to face Yanagita, who is 1 for 1 today. Two and two's the count on the leadoff man, and that is a strikeout. Number five today for Arihara. Yamada comes in. He's 0 for 1. First pitch swing. That's a swinging bunt. Can Leon make a play at first? He cannot. It's an infield hit. And with one out, there's a man at first for Yamakawa. Now, he is all power, this man. He's 0 for 1 today. Full count. He has hit into a double play. There's one. There's two. And that'll do it for the innings. We end the fourth with our lead intact. And let's see what we can do with the bat now as Cobra Kai comes in. He's one for one today. It's a full count on Cobra. He swings through strike three. That is one away. Sato now, who's 0 for one. He got a walk last time up, didn't he? Two and two's the count. Sato grounds at the first base. That'll be two away. And let's see what uh, Hayashi can do. He's 0 for 2. 2 and 2's the count. 2 out. No one on. Hayashi strikes out again. And what's happened to our batting champion? That ends the top of the fifth. Hayashi to Yubayashi. No, it's Arihara on the mount, isn't it? Where did I get Hayashi from? Anyway, I've got Hayashi on the brain. That's the ground ball anyway. Over to first. That'll be one away. And it's Ando coming in now, who's 0 for 1. It's going to be another first pitch swing. Come on, Arihara, make it a good one. It is. Cobra Kai leaps out from behind the plate, makes the play at first, and that's going to be two away. And it brings up Kobayashi now, who is 1 for 1 today. Two on. Sorry, 2 and 2's the count. Two out, no one on. And that is the end of the innings. Wonderful stuff by Arihara. Wonderful stuff. It brings Panic up to lead us off. He's 1 for 2 today. 0 and 2's the count. Come on, Panic. 0-2 pitch, and he swings through it again, and that is another strikeout. Eight now for their starter, and Kiyomiya, who hit the home run last time up. Two and two's the count this time. One out, no one on. Kiyomiya, has he done it again? It is not going to leave, but it does get down, and that is going to be a double for our first baseman. And with one out, we have a runner at second. And can Yamazaki now drive him in? He is 0 for 2 today. Two and two's the count. Yamazaki strikes out. That's two away for Hector Leon, who got a hit last time. If he can do that this time, it's a full count, and he doesn't. He swings through it, and that'll do it for the sixth. Arihara now to face Koda, who is 0 for 1 today. Two and 0 is the count. Come on, Arihara. There's a ground ball. Hayashi should have that over the first, mate. That is one away. Brings in Taniguchi now, who's 0 for 2. 3 and 0. Oh, we're going to walk him, are we? Yes, we are. A four-pitch walk as well. Come on, Arihara. Sakai comes up. He's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 0's the count. There goes the runner. Can Cobra Kai nail him? Oh, we can. Take him away, boys. Take him away. Two away now. Bases are emptied. Sakai at the plate. 2 and 2's the count. Finish him off, Arihara. There we go. That looked like a wicked pitch as well. And that'll do it for the six. We are still 1-0 up. Kondo to lead us off. He's 0-1 today with a walk. 2-0 and the count. Kondo has got a decent piece of that. But center, oh, it's over center field's head. And Kondo is going to lead us off with a double. Finally, finally, he is making us look like he is worth the $4 million we're paying him a year. Wonderful stuff by Kondo. Now Hosokawa, who's over two with a chance to drive in a run. It's a first pitch swing. Don't you dare steal third. Hosokawa gets it through. And is that enough? Kondo's not the quickest. He stays at third. And it's runners at the corners with no one out. It's Cobra Kai. He's one for two today. Can Cobra get a base hit? Cobra Kai, can he do a little bit better than that? He has hit a home run! Cobra Kai, a three-run bomb over left field, 378 feet. And it's 4-0 to the Ham Fighters in the top of the seventh. And there is still no one out. 
Wonderful stuff from Cobra Kai. And it's, it's Sato now who's 0 for 2. 1 and 2's the count. Their pitcher stays in the game, which is maybe surprising. He strikes out uh, Sato there. And that'll do it for him. Hayashi to face the new man. 1 and 2's the count on him. Hayashi has not had a good day, has he? He's been a bit of a strikeout merchant. 1 and 2. And that'll be another strikeout for Hayashi. Two away now for Panic, who is one for three. And first pitch swing. Come on, Panic. He has grounded it to second. And that'll do it for the seventh. We stretch, but with a four-run lead, thanks to Cobra Kai. Hayashi, is he... Hayashi, what's his name? Arihara comes back out to face Yanagita, who is one for two. Two and two's the count. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, it's wicked. Absolutely wicked. One away. Yamada now, who's one for two. It's one and two's the count. Oh, Arihara is getting stronger as this game goes on. Another strikeout. Kao Yamakawa comes up. He's 0 for 2. Full count. Two out. No one on. And that is popped up. And that'll end the seventh. Assuming that Sato and or Panic can catch. Sato's out there. He can catch. And that is the end of the seventh. 4 to 0. Yokoyama to continue to Kiyomiya, who is 2 for 3. A double and a home run. It's a first pitch swing. Kiyomiya has grounded out the second. Just for a wonderful moment, I thought it was getting through, but no such luck. Yamazaki, who's 0 for 3, comes in. 2 and 1's the count on him. Come on, Yamazaki. That is going to get down, is it? Yes, it is. And it's going to be a leadoff single for Yamazaki. Not a leadoff single, a one-out single. It brings up Hector Leon, who's 1 for 3. Owen oh, one's the count. Hector Leon has ripped that down the first baseline. That's going to get uh, Yamazaki over to second. A third, I should say. Is he going to come around and try and score? Are we talking triple? We're not, but we are talking RBI double. It's 5 nothing to the ham fighters. It's an RBI double from Hector Leon. And it's Kondo to the plate, who is one for two today with Leon at second. Can we drive in another run? Kondo has popped that up. And I don't think it's going to get Leon over to third. It's not deep enough and Leon's not quick enough. And he will indeed stay at second with two away. Hosokawa now who's one for three. Can he get something going? It's a full count. Hosokawa pops her up. And that'll do it for the eighth. But we extend the lead. We are five nothing up. Is Arihara going to continue? He is. He's going to face Yubiashi who is 0 for two. It's a full count. Come on, Arihara. No, he loses the first guy. A leadoff walk. Not ideal. Ando comes up, who's 0 for 2. 1 and 2's the count. That is popped up, I think. Panic is there. He makes the play. He gets it in, and that is 1 away. The man stays at first. And Kobayashi comes in now. He's 1 for 2. It's another full count. We don't want another walk, mate. That could be. No, it's not. It's gotten through. For a second, I thought maybe double play. But with one out, there's runners at first and second. And this may be the end for Arihara. He's going to continue to Koda, who's 0 for 2. 2 and 1's the count. I'm a little bit concerned. We're leaving this a little bit too late to make a change. But it's popped up. That should be 2 away. It is. And Arihara, is he going to get the job done again? Taniguchi, their leadoff man, comes in. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. 2 and 2's the count. 2 out, 2 on. And we're sitting down with a strikeout. Number 10 for Arihara. He has had a hell of an outing. We go to the ninth with a five-run lead. It's Cobra Kai. You hit the three-run home run last time up. He's two for three. One and two's the count. Cobra Kai grounds it out to third, and that is one away. Sato now comes in. He's 0 for three, and we have to consider his spot at the top of this lineup, I think. 0 and one's the count. Sato grounds it out. He goes 0 for today, and that is two away, and it's Hayashi who's not had a great day either. He's 0 for 4. 1 and 1's the count. Come on, Hayashi. He has lined it out to shortstop. And that'll do it. We go to the ninth. 5 nothing up. Arihara goes out. It's uh, Jose coming in. Our closer to face. Sakai, who's 0 for 3. 0 and 2 is the count. Come on, Jose. Sit him down, mate. There it is. We're two outs away from a one-game lead. From being one game away from progressing into the championship round. Yanagita, who's one for three, comes in. One that knows the count. That is going to be a single into center field. Sato has it. Keeps the runner at first, but... Runner at first with one out now for Yamada, who's one for three. Owen oh, one's the count. Could we get a double play? 
Could we get a double? No, it's gotten into right uh, left field. And that is suddenly two on with one out. And it's not looking as though it's simple. Yamakawa, the power man. One and two's the count. That is popped up. Sato, two hands, mate. Make sure of it, please. That's two away. They're down to their final out. They, I mean, they, the tying run is still sitting in the dugout. It should be okay. It's Ubayashi who's 0 for 2. 1 and 2's the count, and that'll do it! We've gone one game up in the series. Come on, ham fighters! So we go one game up in the three game series, and we are one game away from clinching ourselves into the uh, Pacific League Championship Series against the Chiba Mariners or Marines or whatever they're called. Uh, but guys, if you have enjoyed that, do make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, of course. And we'll be back next time for game two of this series. Uh, and it will be... Oh, the, oh, the whole series is at their place. Well, that's a little bit unfair, isn't it? Um, well, there we go. So that's the advantage, I guess, of, uh, of coming second in the league. But anyway, we need to win one of the last two games. It'll be game two next episode. Going on the mound for us will be Kawano. Now, Kawano has been good this year. Uh, ERA of just over three. He's had a whip of 115. He's had a 2.5 war, an ERA plus of 125. He's been good. And he was missing a little bit through injury as well, I think. So... I'm confident with him on the mound. Let's, uh, well, we'll come back next time and see if we can, uh, if we can get the 2-0 job done in the three-game series. Take care.